Hey guys, Rick with SeeMyBeach.com. Get ready to start a little show live at the island here. I'm a little out of breath because I've been getting loves and kisses and playing with the doggies. And I'm here with Addison. How you doing, Addison? Good. You having a good day? Yes. We love to all cute and everything. I'm going to tell you who these guys are in just a minute. But what we want to do is have her start the show. Let the show begin. Yeah. Oh, hi. Thank you. She started every show for us so nice. far. That's, that's awesome. awesome. That's yes, great. That's absolutely. Great. She's learning the right things. Yeah, that's that's good age. Should be. We're here tonight. This is Frank and this is Marisol. How are you guys doing today? Doing great. How are you, sir? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. my friend. And who are these guys? Okay, well, this is Orca and this is Noel, both with Saving Sage Animal Rescue. Yeah. We're in Fort Lauderdale. Okay. And we brought them by and we appreciate you giving us the opportunity to give them some attention and some love. Absolutely. Now, well, this is an opportunity for us, too, because we love giving back to the nonprofits. The store here loves you know, supporting things like that. That's awesome. And we appreciate guys like you who go around and, and without guys like you, these guys have nowhere to go. So thank you all for doing that. Um, so so um, they're calming down a little bit. That's yeah. good. They've yeah. been, uh, they were, there was a really strong attraction to a fake dog in the window, so we had to stop that. I mean, there was a little butt sniffing and stuff going on. And, First bus sniffing we've had here at the island. Okay, so we take everything on the land. We can be the first. Exactly. <laughs> Breaking new grounds, man. That's all good. That right. Well, listen, um, normally we sit down doing the short thing, but this is fun. We're responsible for you. Yeah, Dogs cool. are finally calmed down, so that's awesome, a good thing. Awesome. They're adorable, man. Thank you. Thank I, you. I've been looking forward to meeting We heard them on the. Uh, We've heard them, uh, we saw them on the Facebook page, awesome. things like that, so uh, they're really great. Thank you. So tell me how they came to be part of, well, first I'll tell me a little about Save Rescue. Okay, Saving Sage was started in 2000, Saving Sage, that's fine, was started in 2014 by a lady named Gina Vlasic. Okay. Um, and it started with a fighting ring in Miami, um, the police uh, busted a fighting ring in Miami, and there were 38 dogs and they took them out, and one dog got left behind, and nobody knew it, and that saved it. Oh, wow. She was under a house, and um, a client of Gina, who owns um, the Jolly Mutt uh, grooming salon in Miami Shores, told her there was a dog, so she went up, uh, went to pick her kids up in middle school there, took a couple of middle school kids. There was a blood trail. I'm sorry if things get a little gruesome, but there was a blood trail. She followed the trail. They found the dog had been hit by a car with two broken legs. They went to a pet smart across the street, a pet supermarket. They got a stretcher and loaded it into her um, car. She took it to the vet, and Channel 7 was on the scene for the dog fighting thing, and they saw what she was doing, and they actually raised money for the vet bills, but the vet and some other donors took care of that. She took the $7,000 that uh, Channel 7 uh, raised, and she started her own rescue, and that's how Saving Sage began um, for a lot of now. So seven years later, here we go. Ask, ask me when I'm not on camera what I think about dog fighting people. Uh, <laughs> you can't say on camera. We feel the same. Absolutely. Exactly the same. We all do. We all so do. that Sage, Sage was the dog that they found. And actually, another story, when they put her in, they found she was lactating. Right. So they realized she had puppies. So uh, they went back to the house. The kids crawled under, got the puppies. And uh, wow. that was it. She was a feral dog. It took Gina months to get her to accept people. So it turned out great. And here we are. She's still here with us, too. You know, we'll, we'll affect 10,000 dogs this year through TNR, through medical, through rescue, through foster. So that is fantastic. Yeah, we're trying to we're trying our best. That. that is fantastic. I love hearing your positive stories like this. This is fantastic. Um, what do you do with these guys? I also volunteer. All right. I've been doing that with him, as a matter of fact, for a while. Um, it's a passion of ours, um, especially this particular breed, because they're so misunderstood and so yeah. they have so many things against them that you know that they they grip onto your heart and don't let go because right. they're such wonderful dogs. Yeah, they just want to love. They just want to. They're so. They don't want to fight. They don't want to do that stuff. We've had a ton of. We've owned um, chows, uh, labs. And these have been like the best dogs. Yeah. The most yeah. loving. The most. Wonderful animals. We have four dogs about. Oh, yeah. It's two or pickles. Yeah, dogs. That's called pickles from shelter, yeah. Dogs are guys' best creation. He messed up on man, should have spent a couple more days on the whole. Exactly. Yeah. You, you can go ten days on creating man, not seven, because we messed up. But anyway, uh, so tell me what, um, in general, you guys need as far as if someone were to watch this and say, hey, we want to donate. Because we want to, for, for one, we want to get the dogs rescued. Right, that's and right. And another thing is there's things you need to maintain until they get rescued. Right. So tell me, first of all, if somebody wanted to adopt a dog, what's the process on that? So the process now, you go onto our website, savingsagerescue.org. Okay. And we have all our dogs listed on the website. And you can just pick a dog there. And then what you do is you fill out an application. And we review the application, we do background checks, just the standard checks that we have to do. Right. Um, and then once that's approved, usually myself or another volunteer will reach out to you. I'll call you and say, hey, Rick, 
we're approved. If you have other dogs, or we'll set up meet and greets, and, and we do things like that. You want to take care? So sorry about that. Doing things with dogs is never smooth. But, uh, yeah, so then when you're approved, if you're approved, we, you know, follow the steps, do a home check, and if you have dogs, we'll see if the dogs are compatible. Right. And then we go from there, and if all goes well, we have a fee. The different dogs are different fees, and... It all works out. We have a, we have a 14 day foster period. Right. Like the engagement before the marriage. Yeah. So we no, want I'm you to make sure that you get along with them. That it, it works for you. The worst thing we want is a bad adoption. Right. And the dog to come back. So we want it to work. Okay. Got it. That's pretty much a pretty simple. We're on you know we're uh, at Saving Sage Rescue on social media. So right. you always see our dogs there. We do videos. Is it, what is the web address? Um, the web address for the website yeah. is SavingSageRescue.org. SavingSageRescue.org. Saving and our social media is at Saving Sage. Gotcha. And we have just a, a great army of volunteers and people. We also have a wish list on Amazon. So if yes, you want to we donate, we're always looking for food, well, cons, that's one thing I was asking leashes, about. Right. Yeah, yeah. potters. Very good. Yeah. Even, you know, cash donations. We, you know, we pay bills. We're right. Straight charity. So right. we still pay electric and we pay rent. And, but any donation, if you want to volunteer, you can go on the, the website as well. It's right. a lot of volunteer application. We have a lot of cats as well. We're not only dogs. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Cats you have. yeah we have a lot of cats, and um, we do cat transport, so we're pretty active. Awesome. It's just all, and then, you know, people like you as well, just giving us an opportunity to be here. Is, that's like volunteering. Absolutely. Well, we have This is the dog that was causing all the problems. This is oh, he sexy and a beautiful it. dog right here. <laughs> uh, Addison, will you take the dog for me? Thank you. Addison's our little assistant on set. She's always really good to help out with things. So anyway, um, anything else you want to say about your rescue or just in general? We know that people can go to Amazon to uh, buy things. Yeah, and you need cash also, no question yeah. about that. That's Food, how. leashes, collars, <laughs> even, you know, for cats and dogs, that's our, our really major <laughs> wish list. Our food is our big one. Right. Any financial donations are always appreciated. But uh, leashes, collars, uh, cat boxes for the cats, anything that, what you know. Of, what kind of food would people, if they want to buy food for the dogs, what's a good, a good inexpensive brand? A good expense can... that I try to use, it's a quality food and it's inexpensive, is Taste of the Wild. Okay. But sometimes we don't have a choice, so we take what we get. Right. And, you know, we use what we can, but I try to use that because it's not as expensive, but yet yeah, it's a good food. Gotcha. You know, it's not a, a hundred dollar no bag. <coughs> Just no chicken base, right. seafood base, because pits don't do well with chicken. They get oh, like, I know that. Yeah, yeah they get rashes right. and stuff. I'm going to interject something here yeah. about about just in general because I started off with my dog when she was just a puppy giving I would only let her have spring water I mean okay. not even purified water spring water right. from my girl 
And uh, as she got older, her, my, her vet out in the Keys said that's the smartest thing we ever did. Now my wife, my wife would be like, you're so excessive with your dog, right. you yeah, know, exactly. spending money you shouldn't spend. And I was like, you know, I can replace you, but I can't replace my dog. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that's why all my wives are ex though. But anyway, yeah. so, so it's all right. Oh my. <laughs> but we love our dog. Love our dog. So anyway, the vet said that uh, he said spread the word on that because he said yeah. spring water is the best, yeah. especially like Fort Lauderdale water. You might as well just you know, kill your dog. Yeah. The water here is horrible. It's horrible. Yeah. So and Marisol's yes. uh, Marisol's a big advocate of raw food. Yes. Uh, raw food's fast. It's a little pricey, but like yeah. Marisol taught me when I was complaining about the price of raw food, she's like, you'll save that money. In you'll the save it bills. in it. You'll save you it do. in it. Yeah. She's right. <laughs> That's so. what people don't realize. Yeah. That's what he said about the... Um, the spring water, because he said, he said what affects our, our bodies is like a hundred times worse for the small bodies like dogs are. Exactly. Right. So anyway, so protect your animals yep. and uh, you know, everybody look at these adorable babies. They're, they're a little excited tonight. They are they're they're this is big exciting. fun. We had an attractive mannequin dog here. I mean, that was, <laughs> it was hard to get past that, wasn't it? It matched you. It was the same color. Yeah, he was, uh, again, he was a fighting dog that didn't want to fight. Fighting dog that didn't want to fight. We got him. He was, he's about 70 pounds. He was about 35, 40 pounds, skin and bone. What? Wouldn't what? let anybody approach him. And, oh. you know, we've had him for a few months, and look what he is now. Right. He's friendly, he's healthiest. And she yep. was uh, at the county shelter. She was a last call dog, so we went and got her. They bred her, you can tell. A lot of people breed and dump. And the holidays are tough because people yeah. want to buy puppies. Right. And they start to dump dogs. And with COVID, a lot of people brought in dogs. They go back to yeah. work, and now yeah, dogs are being dumped. So. Yeah. It's a tough time of year for us, so. It always shot me when you hear somebody who said, you know, I got a new apartment and they don't allow my dog, so I need to get rid of my dog. Right, yeah. You should have never been allowed to have a dog yeah, in the first yeah. place. And that's why we do strict background checks for right. things like that. And we have a lot of help. We get some really good trainers that help us, you know, Amanda Buck at CPL, if I can give her a little plug, sure. she's awesome. And, what is CPL? Uh, it's her training company, and okay. she helps out. And then there's Reuben Collin at uh, it's K9 LIN. You can promote anybody who does good yeah. things for yeah. And he yeah. comes, and Reuben at K9 LIN helps us a okay. lot too so we appreciate that we'll send us some uh, their web addresses and we'll put text yeah, over yeah so that's sure. awesome i appreciate you doing that because they're so good to sure, us sure sure they come out of their way to help our dogs so exactly well we're going to expand the, the, the store here is going to expand oh, the way really? they do as far as uh, as, as uh, for the community and for the nonprofits and things like that so we hope to uh, the owner michelle said that she'd like to have a dog come in like this have feature one dog have the dog go to a spa that day and right. get in some Ooh. get in some fun things awesome. and make, yes. make yeah, a, a big day, you know? Yeah. So especially we, yeah, especially a dog cool. like this who's never had anything like that. Yeah. No, it's a, it's a In the future, we'd like to, we've been thinking about, it gets a little, you know, but pricey, but we'd like to train a dog as a service dog and maybe give it to a vet or a child yeah, in need that needs a service dog. No, that's, if you should do things at, like that. Yeah, in 2022, it's something we want to... What I love is when charities help other charities. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. That's, that's, that's how it should be. Because right. should they, we're nonprofit, but... We still are going to give back, right? So, yeah. so I agree with you 100. Yeah, you know, I agree with you. That's really your people. Anyway, um, thank you guys for coming. You're on the show. You're awesome. Anything else you want to say? Anything else you want to give a shout out? What do we say? Blessings on your store. I hope you <laughs> blow it out. Volunteer, foster, adopt, donate. You know. Nice. Well, but Brian's off camera right here because he's not as cute as I am, so, <laughs> so he don't want to get on. He's like, I can't stand next to you, right? Uh, it's just not fair. Star, star material. <laughs> he's a good looking guy. I'm just messing with him. You guys are awesome. Thank you for giving <laughs> thank us the you. opportunity. Thanks Absolutely. for giving back yes. and thank you. giving us the opportunity. Thank Absolutely. Thank you guys for bringing right. these guys on. Thank you. Now we're going to go off camera and it's going to be love time because I'm going to get on the floor, <laughs> just love these dogs and see what's going on. They love. They you know, we get on the floor with Addison. Addison's a little nervous. She's. The dogs are bigger than she is. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> but they're friends. Come here, guys. Come here, guys. Go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, go. my goodness. Come on. Yeah. And have a kiss? That's what oh, they love my goodness. the most. No problem with kisses. That's what they love the most. No problem with kisses. Orca's going to bite her legs. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. And then the fun is going to begin now. Yeah, these two love each other. They're, oh, how sweet. They really do. Oh, and it's tough, you know, when one gets adopted and the other one is, oh, you know. terrible. But we got to get them adopted. That's the key to this, you know. Yeah. Just tell me you want to give him something. Oh, you want to bring something to him? Oh, thank you. Oh, that's very well, nice. Thank you. That was really I won't give sweet. it to him now because that was so sweet. Oh, for their little sometimes a few source can start a fight. Oh. <laughs> but I'll give it to him when I get back and they go in their runs. I promise you I'll give them each their bone. And I really appreciate that. That's See what I'm really, talking about? Really, really Addison nice. thinks all the time about giving back. And that's what that's I love. That's awesome, about. Addison. They love it's it. Especially when Orca's going to go crazy. He's going to tear that up, I'd say, within 10 seconds. He's got it. That was a 10 second treat with another dog. Maybe take a little longer. He's got a mouth like an alligator. But he's gentle. What'd you do? What'd you do? Oh, my God. You know what, Pat? I'm right here. Good, Pat.
Hey, he's intimidating looking. Pet no. Uh, that's a pet, she's pet a little Noah. sweeter looking. She's she's we'll see. right there. Just better. Oh. Look at her tail. Look wagon. at her tail. Look at her tail. You put, oh no, this is unfair. You you put a wag on her tail. She didn't even wag her tail for me, Addison. She yeah, love they you. just love they love you. She loves you, Addison. That's what they love. Salud. Bless you. Thank you. So, all right, guys. All righty, well, we'll thank get you out guys of your hair. Live at the island. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you guys for Thanks coming again. out. You guys are awesome. Yeah, we'll we be in touch. It. Absolutely. Yeah. Take care. Let me know if you want to come out. We'll be out oh, there. Oh, you know what? Oh, I'm glad you said that. Yeah. We're going to do part two on this segment okay. right here because what we're going to do is um, I want to go out to uh, your place right. and see it. Okay. Sure. We're going to look at it. Addison, you come if you want to. Yeah, sure. We'll go look at the place. We'll play with the cats, Addison. <laughs> oh yeah, play with the little kitty cats. Yeah, they they were <laughs> cats. We're kind of cats. We we'll put you in the free roaming cat room. They're like ten cats rubbing on you. Ah, uh, <laughs> I've been in one of those before. They're awesome. Uh, they are. They are. They're all over you. They're all over you. So. Absolutely. So anyway, so yeah, I want to come out next week and as a second segment to this show. Yeah, I just reach out and show people. Day and I'll make sure I'm there. Sounds like a plan, man. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank you guys. So Take care, everybody. Have Live in the night. island. The hottest new show in. Bye. Fort Lauderdale. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> All right, here's part two of the show. We're here now. This is Sage Animal Rescue. This is in Fort Lauderdale. And we're going to come in here and uh, check this out. I want you guys to see what these people do for the animals and what they need. And maybe we can help them out a little bit, okay? Right here, we're getting close to December, Christmas. We want to take care of everybody. So let's go in and check it out. Let's meet Frank and then get a quick tour of the place. Frank, how are you doing, my friend? Good morning, Rick. How are you? Good. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thanks Excellent. for coming by. Yeah, last time we saw each other, we were on Live at the Island. That's right. We had a good time. That was fun. That was Thank awesome. For that. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, so. absolutely. And during that, we, we said we should come by and check out the shelter. And look, look yeah. at this. We'd love to have you. This is our home. This is what we do. Yeah. Like we're, I say, we're small, but we're mighty. There you go, man. <laughs> we, we, we need a bunch of little small ones because they're, exactly. you'll find the most care comes from the small yes, ones. Yes, we do our best. We have an amazing group of volunteers and everybody cares and they treat these pets like, like they're their own. So. Nice. Well, why don't you show me around your, your place? Sure, so we're in the hallway, the main hallway. Okay. Um, right here, you can see this is our little waiting room and lobby area. So this is uh, where you come in to this register? This is where you come in if you're dropping off a dog for medical or you're coming to adopt a dog or a cat. We'll let you wait in here and do any paperwork. Gotcha. You can see people have dropped off some donations, which is something Thing we're always looking for. We, we appreciate those people. Yeah, we love donations and kind of sometimes just dump it until some people come in and we'll organize it. We have rooms for it. Gotcha. So that's it. This is our main office. All right. This is where our this is what you see when you come in. Works. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, people were answering phones. Uh, down here we have some cats and some free roaming rooms. Okay. Uh, if you want to take a look, I'll open up. Hopefully one doesn't run out. <laughs> sure. We have some escape artists. We got the door closed out there. So. Yeah. So I. Got this little kitty here, and I'll let Dina talk to you about the oh, cats. Okay. She knows their names. What are you doing, sweetheart? This, say hi. Uh, this is actually Tiffany, and Tiffany's kind of a, a sad story. Dina can give you a little back. Uh, okay. So what we're trying to do now is get the cats out of the kennels gotcha. and get them more into free roaming situations. Yeah, this is our free roaming cat room. We keep a lot of free roamers in here. Oh, okay. Really cool cats, and we'll take a look at them in a little bit. Yeah. And then here is our lab. This is where we keep all our meds. So meds are something we need a lot of as well. Right. Um, they're very expensive. So that's why donations are critical for us because a lot of animals we get in are sick and some right. of them are, are gravely sick and we really have to put a lot into them and a lot of money costs. Some people have meds. If you want to donate them, that's fine. If you want to donate financially to help us, this is one of the most expensive things we deal with right here. I bet. You can see, there's a, a list of just cats that need medication. So you can see all these are cats. Wow. Luckily right now I don't have any dogs that need, so we're good. Gotcha. Um, that's Walker. He's another one. He was attacked by a raccoon. Oh, uh, poor again, I'll let uh, Dean poor talk to you about that. Okay. And this is just our surgery room. We have a vet come in three days a week. We do basic surgeries. Hey, how are you doing? Good, good, good. And um, this is our other cat room. So we have two cat rooms. These cats are in kennels because they're not ready to free roam yet. Okay. Um, so that's that. Then uh, we'll go out this way. This is our dog yard. We got a couple of dogs out, so I hope they don't jump up on us. Okay. And um, we have Noel, who you met. Yeah, I met and Noel. And then we have Judith Marie. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Oh. Oh. So this is hey, Noel hey. and Judith. Hey, Judith. How you yeah, doing? That's Abraham. Oh, Abraham, yeah. he's one of our great volunteers. Hey, hey Abraham. How you doing, buddy? Volunteers are important as well. Yeah, absolutely. We can't do what we do without people like Abraham. No, that's okay. fantastic. And this is our play yard. This is where we let the dogs out to exercise. This is cute. Around. You know? Nice little area, yeah. Yeah, it's a cool little area, except when it rains, because then the, the gutters leak a little bit. Right. But we've worked hard to clean it up and make it nice. A couple of our volunteers, Marisol and Sloan, have worked really hard back here to make it nice. Right. So um, we got that. 
Hey, hey sweethearts, how y'all doing? Yeah. Oh, my God. So, Judith Marie, you didn't meet the other night. She found her on Sunrise Boulevard running through traffic. Oh, I my. pulled over. She jumped right into the truck, and she's a sweetheart. Oh, I could really tell. Really sweet dog. Adorable. 38 pounds, and she loves to play. That's Oh, her. yeah, that's cute. She's, in it. she's a fireball. fireball. So, come on, she's an excited little girl. All right, let's go check it out. Yeah. All right, that was fun. This way, yep. Yeah. So we stuck on a rainy day. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Didn't rain until I got here. I got out of the car and it started yeah. raining. So this is our kitchen area. This is where we do a lot of the food prep. So that's our dog animal side. This is the human side. Um, basically, this is it. You can see Abraham has the food out because he's going to feed them now. Right. Um, and this is really where we do a lot of our work here. You know, just prepping, cleaning. We clean our dishes. Like I tell people, a lot of volunteers like being at home. You take care of your animals. You wash dishes, you do laundry, you mop floors. It's a lot of what we do. And we yep. eat a lot of junk food. We're very <laughs> big on junk food. Very big so. on junk food. And then this is our dog kennel area. You see Abraham's cleaning Oops. up. And that's why we always need volunteers because people like Abraham are extremely valuable to us. Right. Otherwise, we couldn't. That's Orca. You met Orca. I met Orca. Hey, Orca. Um, You're looking at me like, who is that guy? <laughs> I remember him. He's like, yeah, let me out. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, this is our area of where we keep the dogs. It's kind of old. We'd really like to renovate it over the next few months. Um, yeah. Hopefully, if we can, again, that's where we need donations as well, because it helps us upgrade the facility. Right. And this well, is all, we do a lot of laundry. Right. And again, any kind of household items, cleaner, dish detergent, bleach, laundry detergent, sure. that stuff's expensive, and if anybody has some extra laying around and you want to donate, we'd love to take it. Nice. Right. <laughs> and a lot of people, like I say on a lot of these kind of videos, a lot of people who watch our videos have an awful lot of money. Well, that's good. And guess what? We need to spread a little bit of that around. Thank Start you, doing thank positive things. Yep. Because, you know, you, like they say, you can't take it with you. Nope. And you know what? what? What would it be like if these people who have so much money, like billions of dollars, right. would understand the value of sure. just making people's lives better? Yep. I bet they would have better lives. I, I agree. I, I'm a big proponent. I think we talked about, I think volunteering is important. Yes. I think everybody should do it if you want. But even by donating is volunteering. Absolutely. You may not come in like Abraham and mop floors and clean dog poop. Right. But a donation of some detergent or some meds or a few bucks, that's volunteering. Everybody doing a little yeah, something makes all the difference. Everybody doing a little. You know, we're nonprofit 100%, so right. we're all just giving back. Well, and, well um, we, just so you know, we checked you out before we even came and did this. Well, I'm glad. Because when we, when we tell people, when we put our sign signature on there, we want people to know that's a place you can trust giving your money to. Yes, thank you for that. Because, like yeah. I said, we're small, but we're mighty. We stand and behind anybody we, we talk to you, like this. Thank Absolutely. You. We've been doing this for a while, and, and it's a great organization, and Gina. She runs a great show, and Kath, you know, who, who are basically my boss, they, they do amazing stuff. But awesome. They're, they're not really bosses, they're friends. <laughs> exactly. So that's cool. Well, what, what, what are we going to check out now? So you want to check out some cats? I can yeah. get Dina. Let's Dina. go check out the cats. Oh, oh. Dina's working. So um, in this the is our room. food room. I think I showed you this. I can't remember. So we got a lot of our donations, food, snacks for the dogs, treats, uh, cat litter. Actually, we have a certain kind of cat litter. Things like peat wee wee pads and stuff. Even yeah. things that you don't think would be. We go through everything here. Right. I mean, we go through everything. So. You know, when times are good, our shelves are full. Sometimes we run a little low. Right. But we do have some people that we can put a call out to and help. And look, sometimes we come out of pocket. Yeah. You know, sometimes we come out of our own pocket and we have to <laughs> buy things ourselves. And I learned how, how, how the nonprofits are like that. There's a place called Patches in Homestead. Have you heard of it? No, I have not. It the, it's deals with severely disabled children. Okay. And uh, it's, it's really, they gave me a tour of it, which I didn't really want the tour. It was a really yeah, scary be, tour. Be, yeah. But I was standing in line at my bank and there was this guy in there and he worked there. Right. And he was cashing his check and he was putting money to the side and he's, he's like, I'm having to buy number five diapers or something like that because we're out of them at patches and everything. So our company donated 10 of the big boxes of, right. of, of uh, That's diapers. Awesome. We but, I never, that. but I never knew the guys like you sometimes just had sometimes to go buy stuff. Sometimes you're out of pocket. I mean, sometimes Gina, you have to buy Kathy, stuff. and you know, I'll introduce you to Dina. Dina's Dina, like said, one of our best how are you? volunteers. Good, how are you? Excellent. Dina's super handy. Not only does she take care of all our cats, she's super handy. She'll come in and replace washing machines. Oh, She'll wow. fix doors. So a lot of that we can't afford to hire people nice. to do that. So We're not we alike with that, Dina. I can't. I, I'm the guy who can't do anything. No, I, I can't either. So yeah. I'm happy I can point the camera and that's it. Yeah, if yeah, anything yeah. that needs to be fixed, I got to call somebody. So. No. I was gonna, no, go ahead, Dina. No, I was just gonna say, I, was, I think, you know, so speaking about volunteering, I think that's something that a lot of people don't realize. Maybe you don't wanna be in a kennel or walking a dog, but if you can come in and fix a door, paint a room. Right. I mean, all of these facilities, I mean, I know speaking from Austin, I don't volunteer at some other facilities, we could use every skill set. Yeah. You know, so you maybe you don't want to be the person in the kennels, the person in the rain, the person walking the dogs, but you can help apply for grants. 
you can help, like some paint rooms, you can do some landscaping out front to make the, the place look presentable and desirable for people to come in. So I think that people sometimes when they think about volunteering, they think about what Abraham is doing and they think that's the, the scope of it, but yeah. it's absolutely not. Gotcha. So there's so much to do. All right, excellent. And, and, and on our side, we like to highlight things like this. And Live at the Island, one of the things that we do within the realm of that show is we dedicate a certain number of shows to stuff like this. And it costs money to do that on our side. Awesome. But it highlights and hopefully will help you guys get some money in. And we have ways of creating money ourselves to see from our different things. So well, you the might, exposure we make is great. We may we surprise you. Exposure, so exactly. We appreciate you. Awesome. Us out. We're doing something in, the, in December that we're trying to decide who's going to be involved in it. And it's a it's a, a big giving back December, and um, awesome. uh, we'll let y'all know if you know closer yeah. to how that's going to work out yeah, and everything. Keep us Absolutely. Keep I think once you show me some stuff related to cats. All right. Well, I'll I mean, I think, I think Frank kind of went over you know the basic stuff. Obviously, we've got the food and the stuff like that. Right, right. So we do have some kitties that come in like walk. We mentioned. He's a medical issue, right. um, so his um, owners didn't really know how to care for him, didn't know how to treat him, so we right. take on cases like this. Walker actually has a communicable disease, so he's going to have to be an only cat in a home, um, and a lot of these cats in public shelters wouldn't get a chance because they just don't have the resources in the public shelters. Right. So here, facilities like this give cats like Walker, who's absolutely a sweetheart, right. a chance to maybe find that forever home, that yeah. opportunity that he wouldn't normally get. So we've got Walker in here, and I'm actually going to okay, take go you right into our little free roaming rooms okay. so you can see some of our little personalities here. Yeah, let's do it. Right? So I am, I'm going to go in here. Let's go in here for one second. So this is two of our kitties. And it's, okay. a, it's I haven't cleaned in here yet, so I do apologize for no, the, okay. the loose litter. Um, but we actually have rooms like this set up. So we have Ham Ham, who is exactly what that is. He's an absolute <laughs> ham. He wants yeah. to be everybody's lover kitty. And he's a super friendly, non-aggressive kitty. Yeah. And we've given him an opportunity to interact with our little mama kitty, who's back here. She's a Whoa. little bit shyer. I didn't so see you there. <laughs> she's not going to be as successful maybe in a larger setting with a lot of cats, but right. now she has an opportunity to kind of socialize, not right. be in a kennel, um, have an opportunity to, to wander and live out her senior years, hopefully a little bit more comfort than nice. a kennel. You sweetie. Good. Well, that's awesome. And again, both of these cases came in as medical cases. and. In, in a public situation, they just don't have the resources to give them the one-on-one -on -one care that they right. need. So these are two situations where these kids... I got a buddy them. here. Yeah. See? You like me, don't you? I like you too. See? And we want to we want to allow people to come in and do exactly what you just did too. Right. Also, right? So in this free roaming room, you get to see her personality. You get to see his personality. See? <laughs> <laughs> she does like you. She's oh on my goodness. Yeah. yeah. That's cute. Right? So yeah, I'm getting snuggles over here. You are. That's so awesome. Just an opportunity to I give, love you too. <laughs> give our kitties some time. And again, going back to like you know the donations and the volunteering and right. things like that, we need. Sometimes people can just come in and just hang out with the kitties, and them, yeah. socialize a little bit, right? That's also overlooked. that's probably really important. Yeah. It's not just. It is a lot of laundry and right. a lot of cleaning, right? But there's also rewarding, you know, stuff where you get to come and kind of socialize and hang out. Okay. And hand him, I'm gonna. Well, let's check out the next room over here. I'm gonna miss you already. Bye, bye, sweetie. I love you. And I'm gonna introduce you. So these two rooms are. I made a friend in there. Yes. Yeah, yes. you'll make a lot of friends yeah. in this place. <laughs> yeah. So these two rooms are kind of the same situation. Okay. I don't want to do. Overkill. I went in there earlier. Yeah, but again, you know, just an opportunity for the cats to socialize with other cats. Right. And also get an opportunity to socialize with people when people come in to do stuff with them. Okay. Much better environment than a kennel. A little bit Absolutely. stressful to always be in a kennel, right? Absolutely. I do want to show you one thing that I think is. Are we very gonna go in the cat room? Nope, we're gonna go in here. Okay. <laughs> I want to show you something. This is very. Walking here, right? no, I see that. Yes. So I want to bring you in here. So okay. these are actually some medical cases. But I want to talk about what we do as a facility that's kind of important, and that's all these kitties that have this letter that starts with an H, right? Okay. So I don't know if you read in the news, there have been a couple hoarding cases lately where have, uh, yeah. people just took in way too many cats and they weren't taking care of them medically, they weren't taking care of them. It's facilities like this, volunteer type rescue facilities, that give these hoarding cats a real chance. Right. Because again, if they were to go with the public service, and I'm not in any way degrading the public services, right? But public animal services do absolutely the best they can with the right. resources they have. Exactly. Uh, but this is just a little bit of a different type of facility where we can take these kitties that maybe aren't as social, maybe aren't as ready for human interaction, 
and find other venues for them. Whether that's we work with um, a farm where they're actually barn cats, so maybe they're not social cats, but they're not quite feral cats, so they have an opportunity to be working cats um, at a local farm. So they're they're there, they're taken care of, but they're actually providing a service to the farm in pest control. Um, and like some of these, like he's probably going to be able to be socialized once he's healthy. He's actually a great guy, and once he gets used to people, he'll probably able to find a home. And that's an opportunity that you take him from hoarding, you stick him in a kennel at a public facility, and they don't always get that opportunity right. for their personalities to come out. So I think that's a very important thing that, yeah. that the rescues are involved in that needs to be noted, that we are kind of, in some ways, the resources for those hoarding cats right. to get an opportunity. You need to make sure the public places who do what they can you and do. the places that are a little you know, more specialized. And, and I, think, I think the public facilities, you know, the public animal controls do a fantastic job for what they do. Right. This isn't what they do, this is what we do. Right, gotcha. So it's just, and having a good relationship with those public facilities is amazing right. because we can work hand in hand, two sides of the same coin, right, to give the animals the best opportunity that we can. Gotcha. So Perfect. Um, we're also very involved, this facility with TNR, so trap neuter release. Okay. So again, public facilities don't have the resources to do that. We work with trappers in the area, we work with feeders in the area. So these cats, that maybe they're not social, like this one right here is adorable. She'll probably never really be a people cat, mm -hmm. right? Good. So this might be a situation uh, where she's, she's put out in an environment where she's taken care of, you know, right. and she she's sterilized so there's there's no reproduction so the, the cycle is stopping. Right. But she gets an opportunity to have her freedom and have a home and be, be out there and do stuff. That's an important program and again, that always needs funding. There's right. never, <laughs> feeders always want food, right? Exactly, that's, exactly. So that's always a situation too, so. Right. Um, but yeah, and I think I think Frank went over all supplies. I don't, I don't think yeah. we need to go over that again with you. No, no, Did you I think have any questions for me or anything you wanted? To know about that I can No, know about. I think I think I've gone over what, what people need to, to donate and money being one of those things and then also uh, give, you know, whatever you can, you know. Yeah. And I think people and, and I, I can't stress this enough and I'm only gonna stress it because I didn't know it until I got into this community. It's not all about cleaning kennels. Like if you have a skill set that maybe you don't think that we need to reach out to your local, not just us, reach right. out to any of your local shelters, right? So if you're a business major and you need some school hours or some experience, get with your local shelter, see if they need help grant writing, mm -hmm. see if they help need help doing, if you're an accountant, doing some of their tax or their financial stuff for right. their tax. There's always, there's always stuff. We are a business. Like people don't realize that. Yeah. It's a full business. Anything right. that you need in a business is needed for a rescue. Right. Um, so feel free, whatever your skill set is, to bring that to the table. I'm glad you brought that up. A lot of people probably don't think of they those. Don't. They don't think of that. Yeah. They just think yeah. of cleaning kennels and walking yes. dogs and things like that. So. Absolutely. All right. Well, let me go out here and see if I can find Frank. Right here. Thank you so much for your help there. Thank you. Thank you for what you're doing. Okay. Appreciate it. All right. I'm going to go off camera for just a moment and we'll come right back on camera, guys. All right, Abraham was running here, scurrying around here like crazy. <laughs> I actually stopped him in the hallway. And I'm like, can you get on camera for just a moment? He said, just for a moment. So anyway, tell me what you do around here, Abraham. Uh, well, I clean out the tunnels. You know, I walk the dogs, bring them out in the yard, uh, make sure they have fresh blankets. You know, clean up their beds if they're if they're dirty. You know, right. um, feed them, give them water. You know, make sure that they're taken care of. You know, it's awesome. Before before I actually met you, I was out in the back of the of the kennel where I parked my car, yeah. and I could hear you interacting with the dogs. And you know, people like me we want to make sure that people caring for the dogs love them. Of course, you can tell you do, man. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. No, I love I love working with dogs. You know? Yeah, and that's one of the things that you know is kind of my dream because I want to eventually become a vet tech. You know? Oh yeah. And take care of animals. Make sure that you know they're taken care of. That they have everything like you know. Bodily wise, you know, right at the top, you know, that's awesome. Well, yeah. man, I appreciate you getting on camera, and we need more people like you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. That's the handshake of the 21st century. Yeah, right? I've been saying that. I've been saying that for 11 years on camera. Now it's now it's real. Now, yeah. <laughs> now it's real. All right. Well, let's see if we can get Dina to go right. walk in the cat room. Dina, Dina are you ready for us? Dina. Come on, man, nobody, nobody at this place is where they're supposed to be. They're running around taking care of animals. I keep having to grab. Yeah, that's, that's how it's supposed to be, man. Yes. Nina's like, I was like, wait, will I interview him real quick? She's like, I got things to do. I'll come back. Call me when you need me. Check on the laundry. I love it. That's the awesome. Laundry. Yeah. So we can come on in here and meet a bunch of our guys. Uh oh, this is the kitty room. The kitty uh oh, room. uh oh. Yeah. Well, hello, everybody. Look, kitties. Oh. Can I say hi? Oh, okay. Yeah, so everybody in here, they get an opportunity to get some more exercise. It's not, again, right. just being in the kennel. Socialize yeah. with each other, socialize with people. Um, some of these kitties came from the streets. Some of them came from single family houses. You know, there's so many different situations. 
a room like this is a perfect opportunity to see are they ready to be with other with other cats. Some right. cats, I don't know so much about dogs, but some cats definitely want to be the king of the castle. Some right. cats are single family, you know. Exactly. Cats, right. So this gives us an opportunity to check out some personalities. Right. See see who wants to. This be is a together. nice kitty room. Yeah. I've been in these rooms before. This is one of the nicer ones. Yeah. yeah. Nice and big, lots of they room. They work hard. The volunteers no. work yeah. hard. They work very, and we, we try to mix it up. So um, if you come in in a week, we might have a different cat tree in here, just to kind of mix it up right. with the different rooms, so that they have some stimulation. Gotcha. Um, obviously, there's always there's always food and, and the different stuff. This is a yep. room where um, we do let people come in to kind of meet the cats in here. Mm -hmm. This is more the room to come in and check out personalities. <laughs> there's yellow. Exactly. Well, that is fantastic. Well, guys, man, I really appreciate y'all giving me a tour around here. This yeah, is a great facility. Time, yeah, man. you guys, I mean, you can tell everybody loves the animals. That means so much to me. Uh, we, we hope to look forward to work with you guys and multiple different things in the future. Thank you. Absolutely, absolutely, because we're talking about doing a lot with the island. We're talking about once a month probably bringing a particular dog or cat into our place. And then doing something where we feature that one and like get them get let them get a spa day and something like that. That's awesome. The, the That's owners awesome. of a, of uh, the Island Mercantile is where the stores where the show is filmed, and they're just like I am with animals. They love them like crazy. Awesome. So That's we great. we're all all about that. So thank, thank you guys. You. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you absolutely. This is awesome. And I'm gonna go around and get some pictures of everybody while, before I leave of all the kitty cats and everything. And thank you guys. Frank Frank had to come in. This was really inconvenient from him. He's trying he's trying to be nice. He's trying to be nice, but this was extremely inconvenient today. We had to have it today because the show goes live tomorrow. And uh, but that's what giving back is about. So Frank made it work. We we make the time for the animals. And yes. The fact that you're willing to come and do this will make the time. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate you doing it too, because I can I can see in the text he's like trying to work it out. And he's like, hey man, well, what about this day? And I'm like I'm like I have to do it this day or it's not going to work for the show. And he's like, he's like, I'll move some stuff around. I'll make it work. So anyway, that's what his life's about, making things work. You guys take care. Here, Thank you, Rick. Here at the sa right. Saving Sage Animal, Hosp uh, Animal Rescue yep. here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And if I and could just say SavingSageAnimalRescue.org. Absolutely. And on social media at Saving Sage Rescue. So absolutely. Sounds good. All right, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks, Rick. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.